welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is gonna be more like Sierra and Kenzie IRL. Hey Kenzie. <laughs> Instead of Sierra and Steven IRL because we're in New York City. We are in our hotel room. We got here last night. Yesterday was pretty low key. When we got here, we were both exhausted because we woke up at 3 a.m. for our flights. And it's daylight savings time, so that actually felt like 2 a.m. So by the time we got here, we were exhausted, so we pretty much just like got dinner and went to bed. But that actually ended up being a good thing because now we're kind of more like adapted to the time change. It's like 8.45 here right now, and I feel awake and ready to go. We are about to go do a photo shoot. One of my friends from back home lives out here and is a photographer, so so we are gonna go do a photo shoot down at Brooklyn Bridge. I let her pick the locations because she is much more familiar with New York than I am, even though I feel like I'm pretty well versed in New York. I've never lived here, so. I need to do my hair and makeup. I'm just getting dressed right now in my little all black outfit for today. I'm actually bringing two outfits for the photo shoot and a jacket. So it could kind of be like three outfits because once I take the jacket off, you get to see all this, and when it's on, you just see the jacket. So uh, I'm gonna get ready, and then we will head to the photo shoot. You know what is just kind of wild to me is like how far my YouTube channel has come, and I feel like going to New York is like a weird representation of that. So I was actually invited here by YouTube, which is crazy and so weird. So I'm going to an event on Thursday called the Beauty Redefined event, where basically they invited a bunch of YouTube creators to sit down with big brands, like big beauty brands, and talk about like marketing and how they can show more representation of like different bodies and different looks and different skin tones. And they're just really trying to like open up the conversation, which I think is really cool. And when YouTube invited me, I said yes, not even knowing where it was. Like I was just excited to do this. And then they told me I was in New York and I was like, what? like New York, like my favorite place in the entire world. So if you guys didn't know, New York City is my favorite place. Like it is my happy place. I feel like New York is kind of like where I'm meant to be. Like if Steven and I didn't own a house and like I was like not married, I would definitely be living in New York City, like doing my, my girl boss thing. But obviously I'm very glad that my life worked out the way it did. I'm very grateful to be married and to own a house and to be living like the more suburban life. But there is definitely a part of my heart that still feels like it needs to be in New York City. Every time I come here, I am just so overcome with like happiness and joy and like purpose. And I get to see Broadway shows and like walk down the busy streets. And I just, I love it so, so much. So when YouTube invited me to come to New York, I was like, jaw hit the floor, so excited. And Kenzie and I had actually been trying to plan a trip to New York because we've been to New York twice together before. This is the third time, I think. Kenzie, third or fourth time? I think third. Third, I think, maybe fourth. Don't quote me on it. We wanted to do one more trip just the two of us before her little baby gets here and we were trying to figure out when we could do it because she's due in July and we were thinking maybe March you know that's when her doctor said would be a good time to travel and we were still figuring out the details when YouTube sent me that email and they gave me a travel stipend so they were able to cover the hotel so then all Kenzie had to do was pay for her flight and I was like great we're going to New York, we're doing it. It's just, it's really crazy to think like the first time Kenzie and I came to New York, YouTube wasn't even like a little thought in my mind yet. The second time we came, I was vlogging, but on my main channel, cause I didn't have a vlog channel yet. I've been doing YouTube for like a year maybe. And then now we're here literally because YouTube <laughs> brought me here and she's about to have a baby and it's just like our lives have changed so much and going to New York is like a really fun little milestone for us. So I need to shut the camera off so I stop blabbing and finish my makeup because we're gonna be late. So I'll see you guys at the photo shoot. We ready? Ready. Let's do it. Hi, Uber for Sierra. Oh my gosh, I love New York. Dude, why don't I live here yet? I know. That's the question. <laughs> I've been saying that every time I came to New York since I was like 14. Why don't we live here? Why don't we live here? We should. Bye, TJ. Cold. Bye, Steven. <laughs>
Okay, so Kenzie and Ryan are taking photos behind me. Hey guys. <laughs> and I am just completely in love with New York. And it's getting windy, so you probably can't hear me. Seriously, I just texted Steven and I was like, I am so happy. I feel like I am just a New York girl at heart and like being in the city, being here, like I just feel the most myself when I'm here and I love it. And we're having so much fun taking pictures with Ryan. So Ryan and I are friends from back home. We did theater together and she is doing the New York thing. I'm so like jealous. Thank you for taking our photos. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, you know I'll be back. <laughs> Oh, like we're calling. Oh. We should like pretend like we're hailing a cab. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So New York. <laughs> so New York. We are at lunch now. Kenzie got a chicken pot pie, and I got a salad and French fries because they didn't have that many vegetarian options. And I do love salads, but I was like, I need something salty. I need something carby. So. We got some fries. I also got a mimosa. Kenzie, of course, drinking water because, you know, heyo, pregnant. Pale? Do you say pale? No, I said pregnant. I didn't say pale. I was like, all right. <laughs> well, pale oh. and pregnant. <laughs> I was going through the photos while we were sitting here and look at this one of Kenzie and I. It's so us. Like, Kenzie hailing in a cab, looking all cute in her outfit. Me literally just vlogging. Biggest smile on my face. And my favorite Target jeans that I love this photo so much. I said to Steven. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this is what half of our travel days look like in reality. We are curled up in bed watching Princess Diaries 2 on TV. Look at that. Julie Andrews, the real queen. Oh my gosh. I love her. I'm obsessed with this movie. The best. The best. So Kenzie and I are gonna camp out here for probably like another hour or so. Kenzie just heated up her pasta from dinner last night to have for dinner tonight. But I'm going to see a show tonight, just me. Kenzie and I are seeing a show together tomorrow. So tonight, I am seeing To Kill a Mockingbird, which is a straight play it just opened. Well, I say just opened, but I think it opened like a month ago. But last time I was here in New York in, was it November or December? I think it was November. It was just getting set up in the theater, so previews hadn't even started yet. They had like just put up the big poster. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to see To Kill a Mockingbird. And now I'm going to see it, so I'm super excited. So that is at 7 o'clock. It's about 4.30 right now. So I'm probably going to go leave here in maybe an hour and get dinner before I go to the show. But since it's just me, I'll probably do something quick and inexpensive. I don't really want to spend a ton of money on a nice dinner <laughs> for just me, especially since Kenzie and I, tomorrow we're seeing Dear Evan Hansen, which is one of my favorite shows. I've only seen it once. I saw it with the original Broadway cast when I was here a year ago, or was it two years ago? No, it was a year ago. It was a year ago. <laughs> but I saw Dear Evan Hansen with the original cast and Ben Platt and it was amazing and I loved it and I cried. And so when Kenzie and I were picking a show to see in New York together, because she's not a theater person, but she tolerates <laughs> it. Were you Instagram storying me? Snapchatting you on <laughs> Kenzie is not a theater person, but she tolerates it and she always sees like one show or two shows with me And then I'll see more shows by myself because hi theater kid So we were just trying to figure out what shows Kenzie and I had seen together the first time we came to New York in high school We saw Matilda and Newsies the second time we came which was about two years ago We saw fun home and something rotten and this trip we're just seeing Dear Evan Hansen together Kenzie was gonna stay in New York with me until Saturday because that's when I'm going home But she's having like some family stuff go on and she's pregnant, so <laughs> not feeling the Life's best. a bit of a struggle yeah. right now. So she's gonna head home on Thursday, so we're only gonna see one show together, but I'm so glad it's Dear Evan Hansen because, oh my gosh, it's so good, it's so beautiful, and it's like sad, but it's not too heavy, you know? You're not like crying the whole time, but that's tomorrow. Tonight is To Kill a Mockingbird, and of course I've read the book, everyone's read the book, but I have never seen the show since it just opened, so I'm very excited. I am going to enjoy watching Princess Diaries 2 and then get up, get ready and hit the streets of New York again. Oh, and I almost forgot the best part of today. Kenzie, what are we doing tonight? Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to Sierra's theater karaoke bar, or sorry, they call it open mic. Yeah, piano not, bar. It's not karaoke. And we're gonna meet up with my friend Ryan, who you guys saw earlier, and her partner B, and we are gonna go to, it's called Don't Tell Mama, it's a Broadway piano bar, and like open mic. And last time I was here, I will insert a clip. <laughs>
from Waitress and they didn't have sheet music from Waitress. So guess what I brought with me <laughs> this time from San Diego. Da 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 da, Waitress sheet music. <laughs> I literally am bringing my own sheet music and I'm gonna sing What Baking Can Do from Waitress. I just dropped that on the floor and I'm very excited. So that's the rest of today. It's gonna be fun, but for now, this is where we'll be. <laughs> I smudged my playbill. I smudged like four of the signatures already, but Sage Door is almost done. I think there's like two more actors coming out and then we'll be heading to the karaoke bar. I smudged another one. Guys, I need to be more careful with this. I keep smudging every single signature. Oh, yay! Okay, I got my playbill signed. The show was amazing. It was such a great retelling of this like classic story. Beautifully done, very gripping, wonderful acting. 10 out of 10 recommend. I think I say that after every Broadway show I see, but seriously, it was great. I am heading back to the hotel right now to get Kenzie, and then, it's piano bar time. Dude, are you freaking ready for this? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Marry people that their secrets from you. Make it soon. Make it better. No better, never last forever. Just make it small. We slept in. Well, I slept in. What time did you wake up? Like nine. Nine. But Kenzie didn't stay out as late as I did. I got home at like two. What time did you get back? I got home at like close, almost one. You got home at almost three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we had so much fun though. Right now we are getting ready for our second day in New York. So this is where I'm going to end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, seeing our first full day in New York for this trip and my obnoxious karaoke piano bar singing. So I will see you guys with another new vlog very, very soon. Bye.